One of the things we plan to get more into with First Down Playbook as we continue to develop the website is how to marry plays with one another. And that could be run to run, run to pass. Uh, it could be complete packages, which I know a lot of you coaches are out there running uh, RPO type packages right now. But uh, we're going to get more into that after we uh, get a little further along with our uh, migration of our 1.0 to 2.0 plays. But today we want to talk to you about just uh, a favorite of ours. Um, you're looking at a bunch formation, and in this situation we've got it out of um, 11 personnel, but uh, it could be two tight ends. The F could be a tight end. Uh, we'll, we'll make it work here for the purposes of this blog. But uh, one of the best plays out of bunch formation for us is a toss crack, good old-fashioned toss crack. Gives you angles. Uh, get you out on the perimeter with one of your best players uh, hitting it downhill. And, um, you know, just a situation to where pretty simple, down and around blocking scheme and everybody on the backside is cutting it off. Now, inevitably, bunch formation is probably going to bring you middlefield closed. We see bunch formation drawn up a lot uh, on the Internet with middlefield open. Not going to happen that much. Uh, for the most part, if they play middle of, open, middle of the field open, run this play to the cows come home. But when they start closing it, they're not only going to close it, they're going to start cheating over here to the bunch side. And so this is an example of a play that we would marry with it. It's just a counter uh, to the weak side. And, yeah, we've got a tight end in here this time, but you can, first down playbook, draw and edit, you can change this to whatever. But when they start cheating over here to your bunch and the middle field is closed, uh, it's a great formation to just come right back and run the counter to the weak side. Now, we've got it drawn up against an over for three techniques, the strong side over here and the shade and the five to the weak. All right, in that situation, the way we block, would block it is we would go ahead and let that tackle widen the split and just base that end out there, keep them wide, and now pull the center and pull the F, a more athletic puller for your second puller. And so your center would pull up on the wheel and your F would pull around for the mic. And uh, the fact that they have cheated to the bunch over here should give your Y a chance to inside release and get the second level strong safety that's down in the box. And then your Z just needs to be able to get uh, inside enough and be athletic enough to tie up the Sam Backer. So once again, just a way to tie two plays in. Now, it's a lot more that can go along with this play. Uh, we'll go back to the toss crack part of it right here. And if you look at it versus an under, and we'll keep the middle of the field closed, because like we said, you're probably going to get middle of the field closed a bunch. Uh, now you've got your shade and your five over here. So you're still in good shape, uh, toss crack. But once again, if the safety's down in the box and the mic starts cheating over, this guard right here could have a tough block, you know, when that guy's flying. So just give yourself an opportunity now to come back to the counter weak. We'll get into under here with that. And now when you come back, you'll see because you've got a three technique over here, that guard's not going to base that in. That guard's going to block down. The guard and the tackle are going to uh, double team back to the mic. And now your guard is going to pull and they'll kick out the end, and your F will pull around and take the first puller. Very important coaching point over here that this tackle needs to let that guard and that F know whether he's got a B-gap player or not, because as you noticed, versus an over front, that tackle was basing out, all right, and versus an under front, blocking down. That changes the blocking scheme for the puller, whether it be the center of the guard and the F. So anyway, once again, with first down playbook, you know we've got it blocked up against multiple fronts, whether it be a 3-4 or a bear, and that includes for the toss crack and for the uh, counter weak, and that goes for all of our plays. But just two plays that we think marry uh, well together, and once again, be on the lookout because this fall we'll start getting into some more package stuff and uh, just how you can uh, really keep your package small but make sure everything is built off of one play or another.